วัสดีจ้านี่พี่เดเองมาพบกันอีกแล้วในช่องไอเดียวิดีโอของพี่ Today my new pet Snow will accompany me while I read my newest book If I Ran the Rainforest. He says he used to live there. So let's read to find out. Let's get started. I'm the cat in the hat, and it's time that we get to a place that is stringy and wet. It is a rainforest. The reason is clear. About 100 inches of rain falls each year. Down at the equator, I'll show it to you. Your mother will not mind very much if I do. To a tropical rainforest, off we will go. There are three other kinds I think you should know. The seasonal kind has months that are dry. A cloud rainforest sits 3,000 feet high. A mangrove rainforest grows on the coast. Rain falls on the tropical rainforest most. Dear Sally and Dick, for your information, the reason it's rainy is called transpiration. Transpiration. Plants lose water through pores in their leaves. Warm wet air rises to the sky. Wet air cools and forms rain clouds. Plants soak up rain through their roots. A rainforest has four floors, you might say. We'll visit each one, so please step this way. My umbrella vader will give the best view. To the uppermost floor, it will take me and you. Emergence is the word that we used to call these trees that grow up 300 feet tall. They might be quite tall, but I'm here to report. Their roots don't go deep, but they still give support. Buttress's roots grow above ground like a fan. To keep trees from falling, that's nature's plan. Who makes their home here? Those who like heights the best. An eagle named Harpy here makes her high nest. This gaggle of parrots, the colorful who, are my calls of scarlet and yellow and blue. Now we will go down to the floor three, where lower treetops from the green canopy. It keeps rain and sun up the floors down below. It also the place where epiphytes go. These plants have roots that hang here and there. They suck up the moisture right out of the air. Howler monkeys, lianas, toucans, orchids, tree frogs, and sloths. The canopy is the most crowded of spots. Here monkeys and tree frogs and birds can eat lots of fruits nuts and bugs, and the nectar of flowers. It is noisy around here, and it's busy all hours. Some animals here, I have just found, live their whole lives without touching the ground. The wet leaves are slippery, movement is tricky, and that's why their toes and fingers are sticky. Red-eyed tree frogs. In the canopy, hark! The hummingbirds hum, over two hundred kinds, that is quite a large sum. The hummingbirds sip at the nectar from blooms, from flowers to flower, it flits and it zooms. This little bird helps the flowers to grow, because pollen sticks to its body, and so, when the pollen gets brushed from its feet to its head, it causes the pollen to scatter and spread. Pitcher plants. This plant gives an insect a most deadly ride. It slips when it sips and gets trapped inside. Strangler fig. If this plant can't root, it will grow on another. The vines twine and squeeze and then finally smother. The understory is the next stop, floor two. I'm afraid not much sun can make its way through. These vines and ferns grow where it's dim and it's hot. Spider monkeys live here, and the wild ice lot. Camouflage is the word to describe a design that makes things blend in, and it's so hard to find. Find six hidden things, and you'll win a prize. 
The sure way to win is to sharpen your eyes. Last stop, the first floor. The door opens wide, and when we look out, it is quite dark outside. Is anyone home? At first, you say not. There's mostly leaf litter, dead plants, and some even rot. But jaguars prowl, snakes slink, and they slither. Insects and spiders creep yon and hither. Now look even closer and you'll find among the life here is our own humankind. For thousands of years, they've lived here unharmed. They've hunted and some of them even have farmed. They know where to find the food for a meal. They know which plant is poison. They know which plants heal. You've seen all four floors. See if you can list them. These four floors make up a complete ecosystem. But something has happened within recent years. A thing that is going to drive me to tears. Millions of acres of land every year are cut down for reasons too long to list here. If I ran the rainforest, you know what I'd do? I'd make a few changes. That's just what I'd do. Name all the animals in this ecosystem. Howler monkeys, harpy eagles, ocelots, macaws, snakes, kingajous, jaguars, centipedes, eaglets, toucans, sloths, and native humans. I'd say, shop somewhere else, people. Leave us these trees. Don't cut them down. Save these trees, please. The end. So, do you like it? Because Snow and I really do. And you can be a part of us by subscribing to our channel and clicking the like and comment button so you can tell us what videos do you want me to film next. But now, goodbye!